Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be factoring a quartic polynomial. We have x to the fourth power minus 9x squared plus 16, and we're going to factor this expression. And there's a couple different ways to factor it. I'm going to show you the results from Wolfram Alpha as well. Let's go ahead and see how we can do it. First thing I notice when I see a quartic like this, did I say quadratic? No, I said quartic, is the presence of two perfect squares, 9 and 16. Does it have any significance? Maybe. But here's what we're going to do. One method, obviously, is you can, since this is biquadratic, it's not quadratic, but biquadratic, you can use substitution to turn this into a quadratic. So let's go ahead and call this something. How about t? Then we get x squared minus 90 plus 16. Now, in order to be able to, oopsies, I'm supposed to write t squared, not x squared. So in order to be able to factor this, obviously, we can do a couple different things. We, we can solve this as a quadratic equation because the roots are going to give us the factors, factor theorem, right? For example, if t minus a is a factor, then t equals a is a root and vice versa. Make sense? So let's go ahead and solve this as a quadratic equation. That's easy, right? From here, we get t equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 81, minus 4ac, which is 64, right? 4 times 16, divided by 2. That's going to be an irrational number, 9 plus minus the square root of 17, divided by 2. So one thing about square root of 17, it's definitely less than 9, right? because it's a little over 4, so it's between 4 and 5. So the, both of these solutions are going to be positive. Now, why is that important? Because remember what t is? t is x squared, right? So we're going to have to square root these expressions, so we want them to be positive, of course, for real solutions. If you want complex solutions, we don't, we don't care. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at each one. From here, we should be getting uh, the solutions for x, right? But how do you get it? Hmm. We got, we're going to need to square root this. So if x squared is equal to 9 plus square root of 17 over 2, then x should be one of the x's would be the square root of this expression, right? So if I square root this, obviously its opposite is also going to work. But once we find this, the rest is easy. So now to be able to square root this easily, let's go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by 2. In other words, multiply by 2 over 2, which is 1. And the good thing about it, this is going to become easily square rootable, both the top and the bottom, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and separate them. And then square root of 4 is obviously 2. Now, the denominator is good, but what about the numerator? Well, the numerator can be written as follows. Notice that 18 is 17 plus 1 and 17 is 1 times 17. So what I mean by that is we're basically looking for two numbers whose product is 17 and whose sum is 18. Does that remind you the trinomials, the trinomial method? So we can write it as follows. x equals 17 plus 2 root 17 plus 1 and the square root of that and that's divided by 2. Now this is the square root of 17 plus square root of 1, which is 1 squared inside the radical. And since this is a positive quantity, it's just going to become square root of 17 plus 1 over 2. Did that make sense? So if you square this expression, you should be getting 9 plus root 17 over 2. And you indeed do, if you test it out. So one of the x's, that's called that x sub 1, and x sub 2 is going to be the opposite of this number, of course. And then if you do the same thing, exact same thing for the 9 minus root 17, you're going to get x squared equals the square root of 9 minus 2 root 17, um, 9 plus root, sorry, uh, what am I talking about? 9 minus root 17 over 2. So the square root of 9 minus root 17 over 2. And then from here, you should be getting the x values, one of the x values as same thing pretty much, except it's going to be root 17 minus 1 over 2. 
let's call this x sub 3 and then x sub 4 is going to be the opposite of this number which is negative root 17 minus plus 1 over 2. So we got four solutions let's pay attention to them this one this one this one and this one. So this should allow us to factor it over the irrationals. We'll, we'll take a look at that uh, in the end. But here's what I'd like to do. I want to be able to factor this into two polynomials such that all the coefficients are rational numbers. We, I don't want to use irrationals. We can do both. But I want to go ahead and factor it. Like, for example, if I have x squared minus 4, I can factor it as x plus 2, x minus 2. And notice that all the coefficients are rationals. Make sense? Okay. But if you had x squared minus 5, you wouldn't be able to do that, right? That's a different story because square root of 5 is going to be irrational. So that's what I mean by that. And here is one thing we can do. We can go ahead and pair these up a little differently. For example, I can go ahead and pair up this number, x sub 1, with maybe x sub 3, like this and then make a new quadratic, right? But if you take a look at that and look at the sum of the roots from Vieta's formulas, you're going to get an irrational number, right? When you add them up, you're going to get root 17. I don't want that. So instead, let's go ahead and pair them up a little differently. How about this one? Let's pair these two up because then the root 17 is going to cancel out, right? So if we do that, let's see what happens. So I'm going to put those together. So what is x uh, sub 1 plus x sub 4? If you add them up, you're going to get 1. Great. What is their product? Let's go ahead and pro find the product. So the product is going to be a uh, difference of two squares, but think of it as 1 plus root 17 over 2 and 1 minus root 17 over 2. So their product is going to be 1 minus 17, which is negative 16 over 4, and that will be a negative 4. Now here's what you're thinking. What is the equation whose roots have this relationship? And you can write it as follows. x squared minus x1 plus x4 times x from Vieta's formulas plus x1, x2 equals 0. So your solution or your equation is going to be x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. So that's one of the factors. Make sense? Because we got it from the original cortic. Since we pair these up, now we're going to need to pair these two up and do the exact same thing. And guess what? You're going to get another quadratic. I'll show you what it is because we already have the results. So being lazy here, ta-da. Okay, so we got x squared minus x minus 4. And notice that the other factor is x squared plus x minus 4, which is formed by the other root. You also notice that there's a different way of factorizing or factoring, British people say factorize, factoring this over the splitting field, and you can find this on Wolfram Alpha if you enter it. Anyways, it's factored over the set of uh, irrationals, or the splitting field of um, square root of 17. Anyways, so you can basically factor, this is the goal, uh, this was my goal basically, I was, I was trying to get two factors like this, but isn't there another way to factor this? Factor this? Yes, and that will be the second method. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So for my second method, what was the expression? x to the fourth minus 9x squared plus 16. We're going to write this as, we're going to write this as difference of two squares. So I'm going to use this one and this one. So x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus 16 is a perfect square. How do I know that? I take the square root of 16 and double it. That gives me 2ab. And I put it in the middle and I get a perfect square. And this perfect because all you have to do is subtract x squared from this to get negative 9x squared. And this does the trick. So you now have x squared minus 4 squared minus x squared. And now you can factor this by using difference of two squares. x squared minus 4 plus x and x squared minus 4 minus x. Or you can switch these around and write it as x squared plus x minus 4, which is in standard form, and x squared minus x minus 4. As before, it's going to give you, obviously, the exact same thing. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.